Hello everyone, welcome to Map to Love with Katherine Nicole. This is going to be part three of the Healing to Manifest Your Dreams three-part chakra series. In this segment, we will discuss communication, truth, expression, clarity, traveling to other dimensions, seeing through illusions, connection to God, source, ascending to new levels, and manifesting your dreams into reality. Healing and opening your throat, third eye, and crown chakras. Bringing that spiritual wisdom down into your body and speaking your truth with compassion will bring you many blessings. Healing is being sent to you now for your highest and best to balance your chakras and focus on clearing your throat, opening your third eye, and opening your crown chakra. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. And we're just gonna get started here. Okay, we'll put these over here. Okay, first we're gonna um, get started by talking about the throat chakra. That's communication, speaking your truth, feeling confident and strong, uh, writing that book, uh, you know, singing that song, expressing yourself in the way that feels good to you. I assimilate, I communicate. My ideas flow peacefully, expressing the self, listening, speaking, the information is inspired. I reveal my true feelings. Being authentically you, expressing yourself, speaking your truth, setting those healthy boundaries, telling people, telling the people you love that you love them, being open to that being receptive of the truth being spoken to you. And let's get whatever couple chakra cards here of what's being highlighted for your throat chakra. Vanity, keeping up with the Joneses, uh, living a lifestyle that's maybe a little too fast and a little a be, living beyond your measures, being overly focused on the material world, overly focused on appearances, the way that you look, the way that others think about you, the way that others uh, look at you, uh, always wanting to be in the spotlight. This could be you or another person, but it's, it's, um, and also the message, don't do anything in vain. Don't do anything that doesn't feel right to you. That doesn't feel good to you. Like I always tell my daughter, I've told her since she was little, like if it doesn't feel right, if you don't feel it, if it doesn't feel good in your gut, don't do it. And you can always change your mind and you can say no. So somebody needs to hear that getting over caught up and focus on the material world okay it's okay to love yourself and to want to look good and to dress the part that's perfectly fine but when you get caught up in worrying about what other people think and keeping up with everyone else that you start losing yourself that's when you have to really look at it and look at that workaholic is being highlighted here okay so somebody's a workaholic, either you or your partner or someone in your life, and maybe this is saying you're doing all work and no play. Like you need to be creative, tap into that part of you, uh, you know, paint a picture, color in a coloring book, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be perfect. Art is just a beautiful expression. But maybe you're working too hard and it's time to take a rest, and perhaps you're, you're taking on too many burdens, and it's time to let go of those burdens and delegate so that other people will help you out. There's people around you that will help you out. When we're overworked and we're overtired, it doesn't really do us or anyone any good, right? I want to pull the blue quartz because it's the only one out of the deck that's, that's all blue, all for the throat. But the blue quartz is communication, connection, connection to source, connecting to who you really are, and clarity. Having the clarity, being able to speak your truth. And we're just going to get a couple more here. Blue calcite and lapis Z. Other ones are amazonite, blue lace agate, green fluorite, sodalite, and aqua aura quartz are all helpful for the throat chakra. But these ones are being highlighted today. Blue Quartz. I inspire hope in myself and others. Do you feel that your actions and what you're speaking and what you're doing are inspiring others? 
because that's what you're here to do is connect to who you really are and shine that life light and you will inspire others. And your beauty, your true beauty, shines from within. We're going to read a little from the book there too, but I just wanted to get these out. I am connected to a calming universal energy. Yes, the universe, God, your angels, your loved ones are sending you calming energy now to help restore you and bring a sense of peace to your body. Lapis Lazuli, I see clearly and speak with confidence. So your confidence in yourself and your work and whatever you're doing and the way that your, your physical body, your appearance are being restored. Confidence. Because you see clearly now how beautiful you truly are. And I'm going to look a little bit in the book because I like what she has to say with these chakra wisdom cards. It's a little brief like I did in the other videos. If you haven't listened to the fir first two parts of the series, please do because all of your chakras are interconnected and there's beautiful messages in, in all of them. Okay, we have vanity. The, ten the tenuous balance between what is true in our heart and what we communicate is reflected in aqua. Are you living and communicating your truth or just playing along? This may be a time of awakening to a new way of being. Be aware of distractions that may pull you away from the true you. Yeah, it's letting go of those distractions, letting go of the codependencies, addictions, people that really aren't serving you and moving forward into this new beginning. And we have workaholic. Here, the earthy brown of creation mixes with inspirational violet. This card indicates one of the most powerful manifesting energies. There you go. Why I did this series? Healing to manifest. Wow. Now you are very prolific. If what you are creating stalls, you may need to recharge. Know your limits. Okay, so you are creating your reality. You're creating massive amounts of abundance, beautiful things, love in your life. But sometimes you maybe need to slow down a little bit just to catch your breath. Okay? And just to make sure that you're staying grounded and stable through it. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, now we're going to move on to the crown chakra. Connect, I mean, to, I'm sorry, to the third eye chakra, connected to your, to your pineal gland, really opening that up, connecting to other dimensions, other realms, seeing through the illusions, seeing past the veil, connecting with spirit, connecting and, and communicating with your ancestors via dreams, meditation, songs you hear, animals you see, numbers you see. It's all part of the connection. Sixes, the sixth chakra, blessings from the past, blessings to bring peace and harmony into your life are coming now. So let's read what this has to say. Indigo, I see your beauty and your spiritual light. My feelings of love fill me with insight and heal my pain. I am open to my intuitions. So this is you seeing clearly of how beautiful and wonderful you are, just as you are, and that other people will see you that way. Healing from old wounds, from pain of the way you used to look at yourself and the way you used to treat yourself and others, or others used to treat you. And you're open to trusting your intuition now. That's beautiful. Beautiful ballads coming in. Okay, let's see. Let's see what cards are going to come out for the third third eye. Faith. Keep your faith. Focus on your dreams. Hold your vision because your dreams are coming true. You know the truth and only you know the truth for yourself in your life. Okay. The universe is offering you love, abundance in love, where the world is literally yours. This is being blessed. This new opportunity, whatever's coming your way, a job opportunity, a chance to move on, um, a spiritual class, leveling up spiritually, love coming in, whatever you're manifesting, money, just have faith in it because you're, you're, it's going it's going to be given to you. You're being given golden opportunities and it's, being, it's blessed. There's a higher power at work here in your life. Working with you, co-creating with you. Balance. There you go. The scales are coming in to balance for you. The skit, finally. And you know what? <laughs> I, 
and this is kind of what I feel like caught in, caught up in a particular world or people, family members, whoever this is, you're leaving that behind and they're not going to be very happy. But you know what? That's their that's their problem. That's their fault because the scales are finally coming into balance for you. And you know what? You deserve it. You deserve to be standing strong in your power with everything balanced in your life. And if these people want to stay in the lower vibration energies and they don't like that you got the promotion, they don't like that you have the love of your life, they don't like that you're growing spiritually that's too damn bad because balance is being restored in your life and sometimes with that balance we let go of these people that are holding us back so I'm feeling very strong that you're being blessed with brand new beginnings where you can leave all this behind and if they want to do the work and they want to rise up and they want to come to meet you wonderful and great and if they don't that's okay they can live in their own reality no judgments no harm no no hate just leave it behind. But I feel like you are rising up above all the drama, all the gossip, all the bothersome details, all the competition, and you are the winner. See? Beautiful. Let's read a little um, bit in the book before we move to the other ones. Okay, we have faith. We are all wounded. Some wounds are recognized easily, while others are not. Forge ahead and do not allow your pain to hold you back. You are meant to inspire others, and if you do not carry on, they will suffer. It's time to deliver your message. Yeah, talking about throat chakra, with the clarity that you're getting, it's time to see clearly and speak with confidence. It's time for that, and that will help bring things back into balance in your life. This card, balance card, this card may indicate a reluctance to change. You may be hesitating because of the past. But that doesn't mean you should, you should be hasty. Weigh all sides before moving forward. This can mean the start of a relationship. Proceed slowly. So whatever you're entering in now, whatever new contracts, whatever new things that you're moving into, just proceed with caution. Observe. Take it slow. You don't need to rush. You can take your time and enjoy it and, and find that, that beautiful balance. Okay, we're going to pick a few messages out of here. Like that one, amethyst, oh yes, blue chalcedony, and blue tiger eye. A couple more are howlite and apophyllite, if I'm saying that right, okay? But these are the ones that wanted to come through. Amethyst, of course, I love amethyst, all the purple, I have lots of amethyst, I have it in other places in my house. Purification, spirituality, and protection. Infinite possibilities are available to me. Infinite intelligence is working with you to bring your dreams into reality. Infinite possibilities are available to me. Just say that out loud, often as you want. Blue Chalcedony, Tranquility Protection Service. I am filled with creativity and optimism. Beautiful. Because anything and everything is possible. Blue tiger eye, isn't that pretty? Emotional balance, soothing, clarity. Your throat, again, look at this. Throat working with the third eye and with the crown. It's all, see, all of them work together. And your heart space being in the center. It's why I did that separate with the special love reading. But this is balance coming into your emotions. Bal getting that clarity you need to, to heal and soothe your wounds so that you can move forward. I am connected to my physical body. Yes, it's very important to connect to your physical body and take care of it. That's how you manifest, right? We are living in this physical world. We are mostly spirit. That's the higher part of us, but we are living in the physical world. So connect to your physical body. Ask your body, what does it need? Does it need exercise? Does it need weight, a little weight training to keep your bone mass up? Does it? Do you need to eat differently? Are you guided to different foods, more fruits and vegetables and drinking more water? But connect to your physical body and, and the... It, and that will help you connect to all of you and integrate everything in and find that balance. Okay, now we are going to talk about the crown chakra. Connection to source, connect into, connection to unconditional love, the universe, your angels, your guides, your loved ones, the crown, the top of your head. Faith and knowingness write me with the eternal universe. 
with dignity, I am, oh, unite me. I'm sorry, write me. Maybe you're writing something because the way that it looks from the side is a W. So maybe somebody's writing something and you definitely should do that. A book or whatever it is. Faith and knowingness unite me with the eternal universe. With dignity, I am crowned. The divine is within. Yes, you are being crowned. You are being crowned the king or queen that you are because of the work that you've put in. You're leveling up spiritually. You're ascending to new levels. You're opening up your psychic gifts being realized, seeing spirits, connecting with spirit. Whatever's part of your path and plan for your highest and best, that's what's happening for you right now. When you go through the ascension process, sometimes you can have symptoms. Mine tend to be nausea and, and things like that. Other people have flu-like symptoms. Some people just kind of, you know, move through it. You know, everybody's different. So sevens are about learning your spiritual lessons and taking that wisdom, speaking it, and moving out of what's not serving you into this new life. Let's see what chakra cards want to come out. We have Destiny. Oh, I love this card. And I love this card because I've read it before in the book a little bit. And this is... Um, you trusting yourself of who your true divine partner is, okay? And when you trust yourself and when you know and you do whatever you can to balance the shadows and light within, the masculine and feminine within, you will be blessed and you're being blessed with this union. Whatever union you've been manifesting, your, your twin flame, your soulmate, your true divine partner is coming into the physical. This is your destiny. This is the divine blessing, this union. And even if they were like, you know, other people in your life are unsure of it or whatever, the divine is blessing this union. Your destiny is calling you home. Whatever path you're on, whatever new path you're moving into, it's your destiny. Impartiality. Okay, again, someone, like if you're in the court system, there's a very fair judge that's going to bring things into balance for you. This is being impartial, seeing things from spirit's point of view, not being too emotionally affected by anything, finding that balance with your head and your heart space, the logic with your emotions, and finding that balance. See how she's got something on her head and then something like right by her heart? This is you finding that balance. And again, the scale is coming into balance. Look at that. This is a double confirmation that things are coming into balance for you in the material world because of your spiritual growth. Bringing what, the wisdom that you're gaining, the ancient knowledge being unlocked, your gifts being unlocked, bringing it into the physical and finding that balance. It's your destiny. It's your destiny. Okay, let's read a little bit from what she has to say in the book. Impartiality. This is not a time to personally shine, but to allow others to come forth with their gifts. You may find yourself in the role of a neutral advisor. Hold the space for others to find their own answers. Advice may not be well received. Be unbiased now. So this could be you giving advice or someone giving advice to you. And you're open to it to receive it. It may not be well received. Look, it It may not be well received when you speak your truth about this union, about what direction you're going in life, about your spirituality, but you know what? That's okay. <laughs> I just feel like there's going to be some naysayers possibly. Like even me doing this channel, I've had some weird comments. You know, I always let go of them, but you know, it's just, it's just ignorance and not understanding, you know, and, and if you don't like what I have to say, or you don't want to heal and you don't want this information, then you wouldn't be um, listening to this anyways, right? I just, um, if it triggers something within you, it's just something that needs to be healed. That's all. It's just spirit's way of bringing it to the surface. But things are coming into balance, but it's time for you to maybe be, uh, you know, a little more balanced with the way you're looking at things as well in your life and other people. Destiny. Black is the shade that demands to be taken seriously as it absorbs all the colors. Black emits the warm, powerful energy of the protector. Unlike black, white is isolated. Together they balance and create. You will be guided by your angels to what is best for you and all concerned. So trust your guidance. Find that balance within and trust your guidance. Balance is coming in for absolute sure. And also I feel true divine partnership being realized. Before we move on to the tarot, we're just going to get a few messages here. Lodolite, Chevron Amethyst, and Labradorite. 
A couple others are Selenite and Botswana Agate. Lodolite, transformation, strength, and power. My intentions are clear and powerful. When you're aligned, there is nothing, there's a, you are more powerful than a million people that are not aligned. So when your intentions are clear and you go after what you want, it's a very powerful change for you. Chevron Amethyst, amplifying, amplifying your gifts, amplifying your spiritual gifts, cleansing and healing. I am connected to a pure source of inspiration. Yes, you are. You have infinite intelligence working with you at all times. Labro, Labradorite, transformation, intuition, and strength. So trusting your intuition, transforming into a new person, a new you, a new way you're looking at things, and you are strong. Your spiritual strength is strong. Your intuition is strong right now. Trust yourself. I welcome transformation into my life. Yes, you're welcoming the change because you know it's all part of the grander plan. Beautiful. We're going to move into the psychic tarot here and we're going to see, you know, what any more messages on what's being healed and restored, what needs to be let go of, what's coming in, what's manifesting. Let's just see what spirit has to say. Highest and best for the general collective. Oh, look at that. I don't I don't read reversals just so you know, but I will show you how they came in because there's messages here for that. You are finally overcoming heartache and loss. You finally overcome that. You're finally letting go. This is you coming to peace with the past, coming to peace with things that haven't worked out, realizing that it's all part of the greater plan, right? There we go. Getting that truth that you need, that clarity that you need to really finally transform and let go. Okay? Okay, so then we have the transformation card, the death card which, you know, we felt just now, I welcome transformation. So prior to this, because this came in this way, you may have been fighting the transformation because it seems scary. You were, you were different. You're, you know things. How do you know these things? Um, you're seeing numbers all the time. What does that mean? The same animals, songs. You're, you're having more vivid dreams, and you're having visitations from loved ones. So and you're, we're maybe in fear, fear of leaving people behind, these people, right? These people that you're leaving behind, these situations. So now you're allowing yourself to transform and, and really birth into this new life. And what you're birthing into is the four, is stability, the year of the four, stability coming in. And wish fulfillment. This is eight, manifesting your dreams, things actually coming into the physical. This is healing coming to you now. So there's a lot of major things happening. This is wish fulfillment. So again, keep your faith strong. Keep the hope alive. Hold your vision because you are manifesting this new start in your life, this wish fulfillment. That's what's manifesting. Wishes coming true. Old wishes that you maybe, oh my God, you guys, come on. Wishes coming true and then fulfillment of wishes comes through. Okay, yeah, there you go. Leveling up spiritually, nines are highly spiritual number. Ending things that aren't serving you. Your pot of gold, your treasure is coming to you. Your fulfillment of wishes, dreams coming true. Leaving behind the past, understanding your lessons, taking the wisdom forward, transforming into this new life is all part of your wish fulfillment. Okay? Rely on your spiritual strength to overcome these toxic thoughts. This is being trapped in your own thoughts, overanalyzing. This is either you or it could be someone close to you in your life. But what Spirit is saying, we're talking about third eye and your spirituality. So your third eye is being open and activated now so that you can see clearly how powerful you really are and that Spirit does have your back and that you can overcome anything. So you're manifesting your reality. If you're thinking negative low vibration thoughts, that's what you're going to manifest into your world over and over again. So this is you realizing that you can tap into your spiritual strength to overcome these and, and, and set yourself free. Set yourself free and move forward into new life. Look at all chakra healing coming in for you, being highlighted in this card. This is the four of cups. This is being bored, discontent, you know, not, you know, feeling stuck, not seeing that right in, right behind you. If you just turn around, there's, all, there's your wish fulfillment. There's your castle. There's your abundance. There's your love. So this is a, the Four of Cups signifies a gift from the universe, 
offering you this cup for this brand new life that is your wish fulfillment. If you could just turn around and see the truth and, and look to the light. And part of how you do that is you stand in your power and you tap into your solar plexus. See, this is just spirit confirming that all of your chakras being in balance are imperative and key. And this is your self-confidence, your power, your willpower, your willpower to overcome anything and everything. And look at how beautiful this is. This is you really stepping into your power, taking control of your life and moving forward and making the decisions that are best for you and um, not looking back. That's what I'm hearing. Not looking back, you're moving on. And look, oh my God, not looking back and moving on. I love you, God. I love you, Spirit. I love how they do that. The bottom of the deck is literally moving on. You're literally moving out of the shadows, the dark night of the soul, the depression, the pain, the bothersome energy into the light. And all you need is your compass. That's your inner light. That's what's guiding you. Blessings from the past coming in, beauty and blessings coming in. Literally moving on from the heartache, from the pain, from the loss, from the toxic thoughts, from the anxiety, from the depression, from, from, from it all. You're, you're moving on. And, and how you do that is you stand in your power and you know the truth and you connect to the inner you and you allow yourself to heal and you move forward towards your dreams one step at a time. Have faith in yourself. Believe in yourself. You deserve this. Open up, speak your truth. Okay, now with the angel tarot, we're just going to get some clarifying messages. What else is manifesting? What's going on? Oh, well, nice. Okay. We got the Ten of Air, the Ten of Swords, the end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change and expect things to get better now. Recovering from addiction. So it's you or someone you love recovering from addictions, recovering from heartache, recovering from obsessive thoughts, behaviors, whatever this is, this is the end of it. This is the final end of it. And then we have... The Nine of Wands, leveling up spiritually, gaining your independence in the world, in whatever aspect that is, don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Exactly what I just said. So standing in your power, have courage. Go after your dreams. Protect your beliefs. Protect what you, what you want out of life. Protect your divine sacred union. Protect your children. Protect Mother Earth. Protect the animals. Whatever you're inspired to do, you have the stamina and strength to, to get through whatever it is and finally end this. Because look at this. This is completion. Archangel Michael working with you to cut through the illusions, to cut the cords of the past. A job well done. Joy and contentment and gratitude. The path towards enlightenment. Because you've chosen to go on this spiritual journey and you've chosen to dive deep and, and do the work that sometimes is incredibly painful to do, to release the past, to release the pain, to bring it into the light, you are going to be blessed. The world is literally yours. Look at this. Perfect mirror, twin flame soulmate union resurgence are coming in the portal is open to brand new life leveling up spiritually in an incredible way eight of fire yeah events are going to start moving at a fast pace delays are finally over many things happening at once and that might be what it feels like is like whoa all this stuff is changing oh my god oh crap and that's where you get caught up in the thoughts right is this the right did i make the right decision yes trust yourself go after what makes your heart sing with joy go after what you know to be true that's right for you and express yourself this is about expressing yourself about speaking about your spirituality your spiritual growth you're manifesting Le, uh, mastership in your in your spirituality and you're manifesting your dreams into the physical and things start picking up you've got what it takes to to do it all yeah you're being renewed restored look at this renewed restored a relationship renewed and restored or a new relationship coming in something is happening within a relationship and a family dynamic being healed and restored Review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. Moving on, moving in a new direction, balance being restored, the, the, everything being restored, judgment call, and this is the judgment card, and spirit's in on this, making it all happen. It's, a, it's time for renewal. If you're in the court system again, yay, going to work out for you. 
20, 20, and here we've got a 20. Okay, the world is yours. It's time to move in a new direction. It's time to think differently and use your wisdom for good and over, help you overcome and help the people in your life overcome these things. And look at the bottom that just wanted to say, hello, here I am, Ace of Cups, falling in love or resurgence of a relationship, what I was feeling, spiritual growth and enhanced intuition, maybe a new home too. See, that's I've been feeling it. All right, we'll take these even though it's a lot here. You're having a grand awakening, leveling up. This is you learning your lessons, Archangel Gabriel working with you to help you see things from a different perspective. Maybe a temporary standstill, but it's important to be yourself. Whenever you find yourself in kind of a standstill, it seems like things aren't moving forward, at least not how you thought. It's just an opportunity to learn and grow, take a little pause before moving forward. After you've been renewed and restored, decisions made, Maybe taking a little pause is good. And here it is again. The Four of Cups on the Four of Cups again. Maybe you missed an opportunity in the past that Ace of Cups. The universe is giving it to you again. Discontentment or boredom. Open your eyes to the possibilities of this brand new, beautiful Ace of Cups that the universe is giving to you in love. I mean, it's right there. You just have to look up. Again, wish fulfillment. Wish is coming true. The star card comes out again. This is a big deal. A double confirmation of wishes coming true. Happy times ahead. Archangel Jophiel working with you. Make positive, optimistic, long-term plans. You're on the right path. Yeah, this is just Spirit's way of saying, yeah, we're just confirming that you're moving towards wish fulfillment. Keep, keep your vision. Move away from what's not serving you. Just keep going. Just move out and look at this. Wishes coming true. The star card. Renewal. I've been feeling the union. And look at this. Intimate relationships. Carefully weigh your decisions. Return to good health. Archangel Raphael. Bringing the lovers together. Healing the lovers. Healing the divine sacred union with you and another person. The aid of earth. Bring it in into the physical. Skilled work is rewarded. Whatever you've been working on says you're on the right path. Whatever you've been working on, it's going to be rewarded. You are manifesting money into the physical. Maybe you're going back to school, studying a topic that you did before, but you've got what it takes. You've got everything you need. And the queen of air, here's that clarity. Objective decision making. This is that judge or lawyer energy, I feel. Clearing away all that no longer serves you. Seeing the humor in the situation. So this is either you coming to this place, right? Independent, experienced, realistic, witty, getting it, understanding life, and helping others see the truth, or this is someone that's coming into your life or has come into your life to help you see the truth and give you this clarity to help you move on and clear away all that no longer serves you. Perhaps it's just a reading like this. Being able to see clearly through the illusions. That's what's happening. You're unlocking your psychic gifts, um, your third eye opening, and you're going to be, you're going to get the clarity you need to move on. Seeing the humor in it, that's rising above. Seeing things from spirit's point of view. Okay? Because spirit doesn't live in low, vib low vibration energy. Spirit lives in unconditional love and compassion and always sees the humor in our situation. <laughs> the bottom of the deck is the hermit, a time for healing, okay? Spend time in quiet med meditation. There's a spiritual teacher coming into your life or there's some kind of self-discovery that's about to be unlocked. That's beautiful. Beautiful healing energy. Okay, we're going to get some final um, affirmations here. The Law of Attraction cards. But, I mean, wish fulfillment is coming. It's doubly ampl amplified. This is an 8, an 8, an 8. Um, I know this is an 8. So you really are manifesting abundance, manifesting love, manifesting your dreams. You really, truly are. And part of that is moving on from the past, finally letting go. The measure of my success is my joy. Let me say that again. The measure of my success is my joy. The amount of joy you have allowed yourself to experience is, great, is the greatest indicator of your allowance of energy and success. Whenever you are feeling good, you are, you are an enormous successful contributor. I am life everlasting. I am an eternal being. Yes, you are. Nobody ever dies. We just turn into pure positive energy. Your loved ones are always with you. 
You cannot die. You are everlasting life. In grace, you may choose to relax and allow your gentle transition back into your non-physical state of pure positive energy. Your natural state is foreverness. The spiritual part of you is forever. I practice a science of deliberate creation. Giving thought to anything is creation. Giving deliberate thought to anything is deliberate creation. So you are creating your reality. What are you thinking about? Because it will create your next now. So be discerning in what you're thinking about and who and what you're letting in. It is not my work to control others. Trying to limit anybody about anything defies the laws of the universe. It cannot be done. You cannot control others, but you can control and create your own reality. We have no control over others, and they do not have control over us. We're going to get one more message here. We are all working towards the same goal, joy. We're in this together, you guys, all of us. I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. Whether it seems like it or not, you are all working towards the same ultimate goal of joy. You are just approaching things in different ways, and all of it is working. So that's accepting the differences of others, accepting the way that you're approaching things and going about things. It may not be the way that your family or friends or other people in your life go, but that's perfectly okay. Trust yourself because you truly are on your path to destiny. I love and appreciate all of you. If you would like to reach out to me for a private healing and or reading, please do. I wish you many blessings on this journey.